Hello, welcome to Introduction to the Visual Arts. Today we're going to look at a painting by Marcel Duchamp. If you were to spell it, it looks like Duchamp, but it's pronounced Duchamp. He was a French guy, and so that's why uh, it's Duchamp. Uh, he painted this in about 1913, and it is oil on canvas. The style of art is cubo-futurism. What that means is it's an amalgamation, or um, it's two styles put together. Some people even say that it's three styles put together, that there's an element of expressionism in there, but we'll talk about that later in another, in another time. Cubism is a style where the artist took um, a painting or they took an object and they sort of uh, um, made geometric shapes out of everything. And so then they took these geometric shapes and it's like they put them in the blender and they blenderized them and then they reassembled them and put them back together. So everything is really geometric. Another thing about cubism, the cubists usually painted in grays and browns and uh, golds. They didn't really use any bright colors at all. So that makes this painting a cubist painting because you can see what you have here is a figure that's moving from this part of the canvas down to the bottom of the canvas. The, these are, it's a woman figure. Here are her hips. Here's her head. Now, if you can't really see that, I made this little drawing here so you can kind of see how uh, it's these little stick figures, one superimposed on top of the other, and she's moving down the stairs. Now, where did Marcel get this idea? Well, this was about the time that cameras were really important, and there was a man whose name was Edward Edwin or Edward Mybridge, and he was trying to figure out how figures moved because nobody really knew how that happened because there were no films to look at, there were no photographs to look at, and so what he did is he did a lot of double exposures where he put one figure on top of the other, and so that's what um, Marcel Duchamp is painting here, one figure on top of the other, like they're almost transparent, and this is the movement that this person would make as they are moving down the stairs. Here's her leg, here's her hips, here's her head uh, forward, and again, it's in this cubist style. So, uh, now we need to talk about futurism. This painting really is more futuristic than it is cubo or cubist, cubistic, I think. Now, the futurist or the futurism is a style of art that came or was developed just before World War I, so about 1913, 1910, somewhere in there. The futurists basically came out of Italy, and what they believed is that um, um, the machine would save the world. They believed that. Um, out with the old, in with the new, and always about, their paintings were about movement, their paintings were about noise, their paintings were about sh action all the time. Well, what happened to the futurists is World War I came along and they found out that the machine not only um, could save the world, it could destroy the world because that was the first time they had all of this um, and, um, automated warfare. So they had guns and things they never had before. And so people died just in huge numbers and they never expected that war would be that brutal and that awful. So this idea of futurism or movement in paintings um, kind of died out, but not before Marcel Duchamp painted this very, very a wonderful painting. He actually didn't paint a lot after he painted this. This is one of the paintings that was brought to the United States in the 1913 Armory Show and many Americans are the, uh, criticized it. It was lambasted in the newspapers and people said it looked like an explosion 
in a wood uh, in a shingle factory. So uh, Marcel Duchamp loved the publicity. One of his brothers was killed in World War I, as many, many artists died in World War I. So we have much early work from many European artists, but we don't have any late work from them because they died. And it's kind of sad because we don't know what they would have created, uh, could have they lived a while longer. So again, if you are more interested in futurism, there's a wonderful article on Wikipedia about futurism where you can actually see the figures walking up and down the stairs and see how Marcel Duchamp isolated these figures in the stop action uh, kind of pose. So thank you for your attention.